Hi guys, welcome to your English first additional language grade 11 class. Uh, the topic today is summary writing and reading. As you know, I'm your presenter Ayanda Shavalala and you can always contact me on the book ZA at gmail.com. So as you know, I like to read everyone in class before um, I continue. Okay, so we have um, Eclipse, Mbali, um, who else do we have? Ndombi, oh, I had Ndombi for Zulu this morning as well. Hi Ndombi, hi Priyanka, hi Ria, Ria Rabilwe, yes, am I saying it right? Ria Rabilwe, Dimpo and Lerato. All right. Uh, Box here. Hi, Eclipse. Yes, so your email which I reply to this morning. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, that. My email as well. Um, let's see. Okay. So all videos are disabled, right? Perfect. Hi, Sitabile. Uh, okay. And then there's Janicia as well. Okay, so our class is growing quite a bit, which is quite great. Um, okay, so guys, uh, we have been going through summary writing and I think yesterday we went through one exercise. Um, I really enjoyed the lesson because you guys engaged on um, a greater, a greater level. So that really, that really, so that really, that really um, inspired me to do more reading and uh, summary writing. Uh, I'm just looking at who is here. Uh, we've got slam i'm not sure how to pronounce that um but anyways um lovely to see you guys here um i hope we are all going to enjoy the lesson um are you guys able to hear me properly because i've got my window open so if that's an issue please let me know and i can have that closed for better audio okay so um so the main reason why I'm doing summaries with you guys is to help you determine essential ideas and consolidate um, important details that support them. So um, I did speak about this. Um, okay, done. I did speak about... I did speak about I, I did speak about determining essential ideas yesterday and um, having to 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 have like having to know having to acquire that skill because um, as an adult you might you will most definitely need to quote a lot of work um, and a lot of ideas from the work and you need to be able to summarize um, to as concisely as, as possible so that you get your point across. I think that's something I've discussed yesterday. The other thing is it enables students to focus on keywords, phrases, noting and remembering. So uh, this is when I spoke about uh, the focal point. Um, the other thing was it teaches students how to take a large selection of text and reduce it to the main points for more concise understanding. This is another thing that uh, touched on the, um, what is this called? The, um, the summary writing in varsity. I'm sorry about that guys. Um, I was just trying to check if I have something here. Okay, so, Okay. I said the class keeps growing even more, which is quite great. Um, hi, Grace. Um, hi, Buitumelo. Hi, Deshan. Um, okay. 
Good to see you guys. So uh, I've put in a new uh, section, which is reading tips, which I think uh, we all going to need. Um, so the first tip is that when you read, you have to relax. When you're not relaxed, you tend to read. Um, it's not that you can't read, but you, you just become overwhelmed. And um, that affects your reading in such a way that we, you can't project your voice properly. So you just you, know, you need to relax. Um, and then I also just advise to skim over the text before reading to familiarize yourself with unfamiliar words. So this is what I used to do when I used to read in class. First used to go over the text while someone else is reading or um, while the teacher is talking, so I just skim over the, 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 the what I'm going to be reading and um, that helps me when I read it again because I'm much sure because I've seen the words before, right? And um, the other thing is to read in a normal pace so that you are not intimidated by the words, right? So don't read too slowly and don't read too quick, but in a very, in a, in a pace that's normal and uh, good enough for you um, to, 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 to catch up, right? Um, so I, I really think you should just find your, your place and it's just going uh, with that flow. Okay, when you make a mistake, don't be discouraged. Ask for clarity. Uh, um, for clarity, if you are unsure or just continue, we will figure it out. Okay, so that out is there by mistake. Uh, the irony here is that you guys are supposed to figure it out, but I didn't do that on purpose. So, um, So, okay guys, I'm gonna just try and change the position in which I'm sitting. Maybe the audio will be better. Okay, so this is how I usually sit. I was sitting in an unusual way. This is how I usually sit. So I hope this sounds um, a lot better. Okay, so the last point was when you make a mistake, don't be discouraged, um, ask for clarity. If you are unsure or just continue, we will figure it out. Yes, so we're all adults in this class, right? And if you miss a word or you pronounce a word wrong, if you know the word, if you're familiar with the word, we'll figure it out. And if you like, you can literally just be like, um, how do I pronounce this word? Or I've actually never seen this word before. And you can even go on to say, what does this word mean? You know, I and mean, I think I think this is a good way to also build our vocabulary in the class. Um, so, yes. OK, and then we've got summary rules, which are to omit, omit, omit. Okay, so what are the main ideas in the text? Uh, we've already spoken about that. What are the crucial details necessary for supporting ideas? So I said to you guys, you take down the summary, right? Well, you take down points that you think are important and then you filter that out by filtering out information that you consider to be irrelevant or unnecessary. Is that okay? So I didn't want to be too long today because I want to give you guys um, a lot of time to do the next exercise because I want to pay you guys fifteens. Okay, yeah, that wasn't shocking. Okay, cool. We're here. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a ten minutes paid activity. Ninety words permitted in the summary. Use seven to eight sentences in your paragraph. Okay, so here's the deal. I am going to pair you guys up right now. While I'm doing that, you guys can skim over the text. 
so that by the time that I'm done pairing you guys up, um, we'll already have volunteers for, for the reading, right? Because you guys would have skimmed through the, the, the text already. So I'm gonna give you guys five minutes to skim through that while I pair you guys up. So there is, we've got about 14 people, okay? Okay, let me get my pen. We got, Okay, guys, so I have the teams. Um, so you guys are going to be messaging each other privately, and then one person is going to present um, the, um, the, the summary for the, for, for the pair, right? Okay, so this is how I have done it. Um, Boity with Deshin. Um, okay, I wrote Boity here, but it's Boitumen. Um, sorry about that. Um, and then Dimple and Eclipse. And then Grace with Kwanda, Lerato and Mbali. Uh, Ndombi and Priyanka. So I, I know that uh, the name here is Ndombi, but um, your name, his name is actually Asanda. So that's the Ndombi I'm talking about. Um, and then Ria and Sitebile, uh, as well as Slam and Rock. So uh, Slam is S-L-A-A-M-K-B-B-Z-X-V-U-V. Zero V A. Um, I don't know, um, that's the right name. So, um, is anyone confused about which group, which who they're with? So, I'm going to say it again. Boitumelo and Deshin, Dimpo and Eclipse, um, Grace and Kwanda, Lerato and Bali, uh, Ndombi and Priyanka, Ria and Tabile, uh, as well as Slam and Rock. Okay. Okay, so do we have any volunteers for the reading? Okay, and then we have um, Dombi. Dombi just joined us as well. Who can I pair Dombi with? Uh... <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna have to pair Dombi with Slam and Rook, right? So. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys are actually able to send to more than one person at a time. Okay, it seems like you're not. Um, okay, so I think Ndombi can work with, yeah, with Slam and Rook, I guess. Well, you guys will have to alternate. I don't know how you guys are gonna do it, but I want you guys to, please alternate. So one of you guys need to please um, 
text um ntombi the ntombi that just joined not uh ntombi nto who is asanda okay so eclipse you are paired with dimple <clears throat> so on the two bar um, that's a good question on the two bar you you select uh, a name you'll see there are names and then you will select let's say um who did i pay you with lerato so you'll select lerato and then it will it will say to lerato privately and then yes it will go to her privately um <clears throat> eclipse you are paired with you are paired with Dimple. Okay, so, so, okay, I'm really confused. You guys can't um, see Slam, you are paired with um, <laughs> Rook. Guys, I think, I think, I think you guys are very, um, I think I'm confused. You guys are confused as well. And everyone is like really panicking right now. Okay, so how many, okay, what are the options, Mbali? What do the options say? <clears throat> are you guys able? Okay, okay, that's fine. We can, I guess we can just do the, we can just do this um, singularly. Um, that's fine. It's not a, it's not a long text. Okay, so I see we have a few, um, <clears throat> we have a few, Okay, I know how we can do this, right? Uh, okay, so I see we have a few people. We've got a few people that have. Um, I know Boy Jumelo would like to read uh, paragraphs one to three. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, unmute Boiti so that we um, hear what the reading says. Hi, Boiti. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Amy. I'm good, thanks. You can start reading. Okay. Um, teamwork. Trying to go easy on the environment and leaving something behind for your descendants. It's not so difficult once you start with small everyday things where you can make a change that can last a lifetime. Let's see how you can save your environment by adapting your home. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, perfectly. You're doing amazing. Skylights and solitudes are installed in your ceiling and uh, designed, designed to let, it, let in more light. This will reduce the electricity you need to light your house. Some types, some types can even convert sunlight into electricity. Thank and you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, that was beautifully read. Does anyone else want to take it from there? Uh, do I have a hand up? Lerato, do you want to read? Is your hand up because you want to read? Hi, Lerato. Hello, ma'am. Okay. Uh, how are you? I'm very good. And yourself? I'm good, thanks. Uh, could you please start reading from paragraph four until paragraph five? Okay. Compact fluorescent or LED light bulbs do not cost more, but they also last longer than conventional light bulbs. They also use only one quarter of the energy. Start with the lights you leave on the most. If your tap strips 
get them fixed. Or if you can fix them right away, at least put a container under the dripping tap and use the water elsewhere, such as in your garden to water plants. Thank you so much, Lerato. Thank that you. That was well read. Does anyone else want to read? Thank you, Gwanda. Thank you. Okay, uh, so let me take Gwanda first. Gwanda will read paragraph six, and then Slam will read paragraph um, seven. Hi, Gwanda. Hi, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And you? Good. Lovely to hear you. I saw you in the Zulu okay. class a bit this morning. Yes, ma'am. I was, but I went back to bed. <laughs> All right. No problem. Okay. Please take us through paragraph six. All right. Choose curtains or blinds that keep your house cool in the summer and warm in winter. For example, heavy curtains in a colder climate will keep you warm, will keep warm air in at night. If you're in a hot climate, consider tinting your windows or installing a reflective coating. Thank you so much, Gwanda. Let's go to Slam. Hello, Slam. Hello. Well, I think don't be too late for us. Hello? Okay. Seems like I lost slam there. Uh, Asanda, I think I saw your hand up. Hi, Asanda. Okay, uh, anybody else that would like to read or should I take? Uh, okay, thank you, Lerato. Okay. Um, deciduous trees provide shade in the summer, yet allow warming rays to enter your house during the colder months. Evergreens provide a wind break from prevailing winds. Be sure to consider the future growth of any planting and plant far enough from your house that the root system will not disturb your foundation. Clean the coils of your refrigerator about once a year. Clean the vent on your clothes dryer about once a year. Clean the lint filter each time you use the dryer. Thank a you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Lerato. I just also want to hear um, Slam, but thank you so much. Uh, sorry, let's go here. Hi, Slam. How are you? Okay, hectic. <clears throat> um, let me just continue with this because we're almost um, done. A lot, a low flow toilet can save many gallons of water per year, both preserving the environment and lowering your water bill. Solar panels convert sunlight to electricity and dropping in price. A home utility bill can drop by 20% with the use of converted solar energy. Okay, so let's have a little discussion. What would you call, um, what would you title this article? We have more people in class, which is amazing. What would you title this article? I want to see hands up, I want to see the chat up. I want to see everything. Grace says keeping clean, I love it. Uh, Mbali says, ways to save energy. Uh, 
Where are my creatives? Where are the art people? Where are the marketing people? Give me more, more titles. Slam says, keeping clean and saving energy. Okay, so what about being environment, being environment, being environment friendly? How's that? <clears throat> okay. So I thought this was gonna be a paid activity. That's obviously not gonna work because you guys can't, cannot um, um, text each other. So I'm gonna have to give you guys, um, let's say, 12 minutes uh, to do this. Yes, that's a nice one as well, Gwanda. 12 minutes to do this and then we will uh discuss afterwards let's just see uh priyanka raise her hand hi priyanka uh so my title would be saving the environment and uh keeping our carbon footprint like like uh, stopping our carb, like using less carbon reducing. food, reducing right. our carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect, perfect. I really like that. That's a really good one. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys 12 minutes, and I need you guys to summarize this according to the the the. the the title that you would give it. So when we have the discussion, your summary points will be um, aligned to the title that you would give it. So I want this, um, this summary in paragraph form. So it should flow, right? It should flow like a story. Um, so your time starts now um, at, so at um, 11, 40, we will start discussing, um, not 11.40, sorry, 11.38, so that's 10 minutes. Sorry about that, guys. Um,
Four minutes remaining, guys. One minute remaining. Anyone wants to share 
their uh, summary and why and their, um, see Eclipse. Okay, anyone want to share their summary and their title as well as the correlation? I think Eclipse wants to share. However, uh, it seems it seems we've lost him. Does anyone else want to share, guys? Or do you guys need one more minute? Hi, Lerato. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm good, thanks. I'm still good as well. Um, I chose to give um, this passage, this title, and it is how to save energy and the environment simultaneously. Okay. It's in a paragraph form. Okay. Okay. In, okay. The first point is to install skylights and solar tubes to let in more light and lower the electricity bill. Yes. And the second, stop using conve co conventional, um, conventional light bulbs so that you can leave your lights on for longer periods if necessary. That's a good the one. Third, the third one is to fix broken pipes to save more water. And the, the fifth one is use curtains that are suitable for your climate to avoid changing them regularly and to lower their production. And okay. the other one is plant trees for they have benefits that are great and do not forget to plant them far from the house. Okay. And the last one is use an electric system that is convenient, uh, e efficient, affordable, and of less harm to the environment. Yes. Um, yes, they are seven all in all. Seven Thank sentences. Thank you so much. That was beautifully done. And the correlation there is great because you spoke about everything that had to do with le living a clean and um, a clean life as well as living in a safe and clean environment. Is that correct? Thank you. Thank you so much, Lerato. Is there anyone else who would like to share? We've got two minutes to go. Um, so I don't think that will actually um, be feasible. So I'd like to just say thank you so much, guys, for um, always pulling through, for always pulling through for me, and um, as well as uh, just participating in class and um, sharing your ideas, um, your train of thoughts with us, and um, generally just being well-behaved and matured students. Um, tomorrow we're doing a prescribed poem, um, and remember that end of the class is always suggestion, query and appreciation time. Um, yes, we are still playing Kahoots tomorrow. Thank you so much, Gwanda, for reminding me. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to, I'm going to uh, do a poem with you guys. And then the answers we are going to answer on 
Kahoot. How's that? And then, um, so I actually took some notes down. So I need to know if you, are you guys able to share your screens? So some of you are going to be able to share your screens. That's how you're going to be playing Kahoot. If you can't share your screen, then you're going to need like two devices. But uh, Kahoot doesn't even take a lot of data. You're just going to need to log on to Google, uh, Google Kahoot. Then they're going to, I'm going to give you a pin in the class. And then that's how we're going to play. Um, so, and I think it's a bad idea to chat in the group chat while we play the game. But I'll explain all of that tomorrow. So uh, I think tomorrow we'll have a lot of fun. Uh, I will be sending whoever wins the Kahoot game um, data or airtime, uh, but we will discuss that tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys. Um, have a good afternoon going forward. See some of you tomorrow morning at Zulu and see all of you at England.